Okay, in this video I'm going to solve the time independent Schrodinger equation for a particle in infinite potential well. This is the fourth in these series of videos. My first video, I centered the well at zero, I went from negative to positive A, and I did that in great depth. Alright, so look at that if you don't know what I'm going to be doing here. The reason I'm doing this is to show why symmetry arguments are so important. In a previous video, I centered the well uh, at, uh, oh, I centered the well at, what did I do it, at the origin. No, I didn't center center the origin. I centered it at 3A and went from 0 to 6A. So the width of the well was 6A. In this case, the width of the well is 6A as well. However, it's not, it's, it's centered at, at the origin. So I'm just going to very quickly solve this, okay? We know, of course, straight away that psi of x is equal to a cos plus b sine. Like I said, look at my, my first video in, in order to, if you don't understand that. Apply a boundary condition, so the psi of 3a, which we know is equal to 0 because the particle cannot exist outside, uh, gives us the following. It gives us a cos 3 of a plus b sine 3 of a. And we know that's equal to 0 as well because the particle cannot exist outside the box because it's the infinite potential. Negative 3a, then we apply that boundary. And we find if that's equal to zero, of course, and we find that a times the cosine of three alpha a negative b times the sine of three alpha a is equal to zero. Of course, sine is an odd function, so sine of a ne the sine of the negative is the negative of the positive. <laughs> okay, it's 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 just as I have it here. All right. Anyway, so next we need to solve this. Okay, and I'll leave the solving to you. So what we're going to find is that two times a times the cosine of 3 alpha a is equal to 0, therefore alpha is equal to n pi over 6a where n is equal to odd. Similarly, we'll find if we apply the other solutions we'll find that alpha is equal to n pi over 6a n even. And we, we, we realize that if you watch the other video these are the same alpha values as we got in the last video. So we're doing well so far. Uh, this time however we have both cosine and sine solutions. So where we have a symmetry argument, whereby in this case we're centered around the origin, there is symmetry. We expect to have odd, uh, even solutions, so we have the cosine solutions, and we also have the sine solutions. Whereby, uh, and excuse me, where we were not centered around the origin, we did not have symmetry arguments, and the uh, we only had sine solutions, which are odd as a result of that. So we have anti-symmetric wave functions. So then, if, oh, okay, we can basically say that psi would say uh, odd is equal to a n times the cos... oh, that, that's incorrect. Um, the, well, look, I won't even put in the wave function. So the cosine solutions are the even solutions and the sine solutions are the odd solutions. But the energy, when we work out the energy, because alpha is equal to root 2 m e over h bar squared, we find the energy is n squared pi squared over h or times h bar squared over 72 m a squared. The exact same energy values we got for the well centered at, at 3 a with a width of 6 a. So the point is, the well's uh, width will give you the same, no matter what the well's width is, um, uh, it, or where is it centered, provided the well's width is, is constant, you will get the same energy values. However, you will have either cosine solutions, sine solutions, or both, depending on your symmetry arguments. And it's very important to notice here is, just because we're losing cosine, sines, or whatever it is, does not mean we're losing any information. So whereby you have symmetry arguments, so where it, the, you will have a symmetric wave function, which is a cosine, and where you've, we do not have symmetry, symmetry arguments, you will have anti-symmetric wave function, which is sine. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.